Today we're gonna let the new calf outside for the first time. We will give him a name and I have to pierce his ears with these things. This little one is a couple of weeks old now and he's been spending time in here bonding with his mother and getting to know the rest of the herd from the other side of the fence. This is also an important time for me to get to know him since they are free ranging and can go outside whenever they want. It's harder for me to spend time and get to know him if he's outside with the others. Whenever I approach them outside, they have a tendency to fight over who gets the most attention for me and it's harder to get access to the calf. So I've spent a lot of time in here uh, this Christmas getting to know him and he seems healthy and happy and his mom is doing a really good job. Though she's torn between hanging with him and spending time with the rest of the herd. So I've fed them all inside the last couple of weeks. This time of year I usually feed them bales outside in the pasture but this winter has been insanely wet so far. So I kept them off the field and since the feed now is inside they've also spent a lot of time in here with Randy and the calf keeping them company. But I feel I can't call him just a calf anymore. He needs a proper name and we're gonna give him one today. But before that, let's see if we can get him to take his first steps outside. Jag går inte ändå. Bra. I got some name suggestions after the video where he was born uh, and if you still haven't seen a water buffalo pop out you can do so in the video up there. There were many people wanting him to uh, have the name Norman from the movie City Slickers and I can't say that I've seen that movie for about 25 years so I don't remember it but I have to watch it again and see who this Norman person is and since my name is E Gary had this suggestion and he is happy so happy would be a great name. But then a guy who calls himself Flixman, uh, I guess after seeing this clip, suggested Sir Licks a lot, and he sure licks a lot, so I think we have it. Sir Licks a lot. And when Sir Licks a lot get back in here, we need to attach these to his ears. But before we do that, let's see the rest of the first minutes out with the gang. I was debating on whether or not to turn the power off of the electrical fence and let him learn what a fence is a little later on. Let's see how that went.
Okay, so the thing with the air tags are that the government says that I have to have them on. They are to be able to separate the individual animal uh, and you have to put them on from the day they're born until 20 days and uh, we're approaching that now, so I need to do this. Uh, I've kind of dreaded this day because uh, it, it hurts. Um, it hurts to get holes in your ears and I've spent a lot of time bonding and getting to know him and I'm slightly afraid that this will hurt uh, that bond. I kind of don't want to do it immediately after birth because what a welcome. Welcome to this world. Here's uh, two giant holes in your ears. But at the same time it hurts no matter which day you do it on so um, yeah well. But anyway let's just get this over with and uh, get it done. I'm gonna take out the mom uh, so that she won't get angry with me when I poke him. Okay, so clearly he doesn't like me anymore uh, and all the trust that I've built the, the last couple of weeks is uh, kind of broken. And I guess the lesson learned from this is maybe just do it on the day he's born and uh, while the mother eats the placenta I can just go and poke the holes in his ears. He doesn't know what's happening anyway and I can spend the rest of the time bonding and, uh, and be great friends. And that's what I'm going to do the rest of this Christmas, just spend a lot of time in here with the brush. That's my secret weapon, he seems to like that a lot. I hope your Christmas is uh... I hope you are having a great Christmas. And I'll see you in the next one.